Hey, this is Keith at Half Tracks and Honeybees. Hope y'all are doing well today. Um, just walking around the apiary a little bit today. Got my great aunt and uncle's house in the uh, background. That was our old farmhouse many, many years ago. Um, just wanted to give y'all a look at what I've done here, uh, switching over my hives from uh, sugar syrup over to fondant. Uh, I've got their uh, I've got their weights up to where uh, I want them. The uh, all the boxers are nice and heavy, so uh, off with the syrup and on with the fondant. Might be a little bit early, but uh, it really don't matter if I put them on now or put them on a month from now. Uh, the food they have left is is what they've got to uh, to use for the winter. So uh, if they eat the fondant patty and then the honey, or the honey then the fondant patty, I can't really see where it matters a whole lot. So anyway. I got the patties on there. We'll uh, we'll take a look at a few of them so y'all can see how they're doing. And here we go. Okay, we'll take a look at this hive. The patty's only been on for three days on this one. So you can see I've got the uh, the insulated inner cover with the patty on top of it, and then also I have the uh, back of the uh, top cover insulated so that makes for a nice setup for the winter you might can see a little dark spot here in the middle that's where it's getting thin um, they're eating a hole out right here in the center but they haven't eaten it all the way through yet so uh, we'll give them a couple of days and uh, I bet there'll be a hole there let's check out another one Now on this hive, the uh, fondant patty has been on for about six days. Let's see what it looks like. Wow, you can see they've eaten a big hole in that. Look at the ladies in there munching down on the fondant patty. You go, girls. Well, putting them on this early, they're liable to uh, eat through a couple of patties but that'll be fine I've got a couple of cases they came out of winter really strong last year the hives that I put these patties on so uh, I'm looking forward to see what they do uh, this spring with patties on all of them but you can see same setup um, insulated inner cover got the feeder shim insulated top cover so uh, this is uh, proven to be a, a good setup for me so uh, it's something that I'm gonna stick with and uh, I think it'll work well for me. Now if you're interested in uh, how I do my nukes for the winter, pretty much the same thing. Uh, some of them have the Reflect-X in the top, some of them have uh, foam insulation. This one's got foam insulation in the top. Got some uh, double bubble down in here. And you can see these, uh, these ladies have really gone to town on the uh, fondant patty this is a strong little nuke it uh it'll probably graduate to a big hive pretty early next spring and uh it makes some honey so uh yeah pretty happy with that but you can see the hives are pretty busy today uh, they've been this way for the past uh past few days it actually warmed up quite a bit from uh, last week and it's uh, going to be up into the 80s by the weekend, and then it uh, cools off again next week. So uh, they're still bringing in a little bit of pollen. I'm not sure exactly where they're getting it from, but uh, we'll take it. We're not going to complain about that. Well, that's about it for this video. Just wanted to give you a little look of uh, how it's working out for me uh, going into winter. Uh, all the hives are looking nice. Uh, I'm looking forward to spring. I think we'll uh, we'll make a little more honey than we did last year, which would be great. Uh, I think I'm going to be uh, selling a few more bees this year than I did last year, which uh, that'll be awesome too. So uh, we shall see. We shall see. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please hit the uh, subscribe button. Hit the like if you uh, like the video. Uh, please make sure to always take time to enjoy the buzz, and we will see you later. Take care.